Hey, Nathan here helping you become a better jungler. I have a review request from a player over on the European West server. He's unranked, but I had a look at the average rank of this game. It's around bronze one. He goes Olaf. This is a loss game of his. He goes two and eight, so definitely not an ideal score. Why did he want me to review this game specifically? He says this was his first ever ranked game and felt overwhelmed by everything. The intensity, it seemed Warwick could just do so much more than me. I couldn't find reasonable gank opportunities and it was honestly just a very frustrating match. Especially in the late game, I had no idea where to go or to engage. So, this is awesome. I love to have the pleasure to review your first ever ranked game. Let's dive into it. I mean, ranked is very, it's a different ball game from normal games. Like, these guys are all going to be trying to try hard um, to, obviously, especially with the new season starting. A lot of these guys, you know, if there's some silver three players in here, silver four, these guys have like hundreds, if not thousands of ranked games under their belts. So, you know, don't feel too hard on yourself. And this is very normal for, I mean, my first ranked game, I probably can't remember, to be honest, but I definitely was not very good at the game when I started. So, Let's take a look here and see what you could have done better. So let's start with your runes. Conqueror, this is very standard. Triumph, Legend of Alacrity, Last Stand. These runes work so well in Olaf. I think these are the cookie cutter runes. Coup de Gras, you can go in here if you're versing a very squishy team comp, but you are against two melee champs up here. So I think Last Stand's definitely fine. And you go the Domination Tree. So never go Domination Tree second on Olaf. Ravenous Hunter really doesn't do much for him at all. And Cheap Shot, yes. You know, you get the Q slot, you get just more, more bonus true damage, but you need to be able to get on them a lot better. And the reason, the way that you do that with the runes, so you have two options. You either go Magical Footwear and Approach Velocity, and Approach Velocity is the key one there to help you get on them, is every time you slow them, you get like a bit of movement speed. So, you know, you want to get on them more than you want to get this extra damage. Getting on them in melee range, that's how you do damage on Olaf, which is a lot of damage. The other tree is the uh, sorcery tree, and I'm starting to prefer this a lot more over on Olaf, and that is the water walking and Nimbus Cloak. I think Nimbus Cloak and going Blue Smart, like almost every game on Olaf, is the way to go. Um, Blue Smart is just, and plus the combination with um, Nimbus Cloak, again with that, that mindset, it's like how do I get on the enemy champion, as especially these range type champions, as quickly as possible. You get the move speed and the slow from Blue Smite, plus you get the Nimbus Cloak move speed. Um, and Water Walking obviously is just really good for controlling River, having the stronger jungle matchup. Um, even though Warwick is pretty good in terms of early skirmishes, you, like, Olaf is the king of sitting there and auto attacking someone. So that's why I love Nimbus Cloak, just getting on someone, using the runes to make sure you're doing that as easily as possible. So... I'm going to have my recommended build up for you here. Let's jump into the game now. So, talking about win conditions. Um, so, looking at this. So, yes, you win this jungle matchup. And Trundle... So, the way I you need to view in terms of finding gank opportunities. It's like, first, identify which of your lane champions have CC. So, Cho'Gath has a lot of CC. But it is a Cho'Gath. And, like, Cho'Gath can sort of carry. But not ideal. Like, you can't, like, literally 1v5... He just wants to get really tanky and be able to like one-shot someone with his R. But, you know, CC on this Trundle is very good. And you can get on Trundle pretty easily. Like, he, he obviously need, would need to do a good pillar. But I like ganking top lane. Um, but I think bot lane should be your go-to in your first jungle path because the you have a Nautilus who has like a lot of CC. Obviously with this hook and you're into this scaling sort of very weak bot lane um, in the early stages. And also, the way you sort of need to view it as well, it's like, right, there's two range champions here. So, one range champion, one range champion, one range champion, one melee champion. And the two range champions, theoretically, should always be pushing in the, like, the first couple of waves. But the thing is, is that a Nautilus, if he's playing well, he actually could be zoning them off the wave, and that would be having to be forced back. But you don't really know how these players in this ELO are sort of going to play, so I'll just go for that anyway. Just be like, all right, let's just go bot. Um, early gank them, but you can also gank Lux, like, probably post-6, I wouldn't really worry about it pre-6, she does have barrier and flash, so she has a lot of tools to escape, and, um, yeah, sort of, sort of see how this goes, but my priority would be bot, but you can also gank top, and then mid is past 6, because obviously when you have your ult, you can, she can't Q you, because you are invincible. Alright, so based on, so let's take a look at where you start here. Let's get your vision. So based on, again, that game plan I want you to do, I want you to um, start red. And 
In terms of Hunter Tal Talisman versus Machete as well, pretty much every Olaf, and I would always recommend you go in Machete purely because you would want to start blue. So blue, you don't need the Hunter's Talisman when you start blue because obviously you have mana for your entire first clear. And Machete just clears, helps you clear camps faster. I'd only go Talisman if I'm starting red buff, which is what I want you to do this game. So think of, keep that in mind next time. With Olaf, like again, most likely the best jungle path for Olaf right now is... Blue, uh, Gromp, Wolves, Raptors, Red, or like, or if you really want to gank top, you can skip Raptors and do Red into like a gank or like invade. But what I want you to do this game is, well, what I wanted you to do is do Red, Raptors, Wolves, um, Blue, see how the wave's going, if it's gankable or not. If not, do your Gromp, then look to gank. If not, then um, maybe get a deep board in their jungle, get Rift Scuttler base, and then go to Krugs, and then look to gank top. So that would be my early game plan. Uh, you are starting blue here. So yeah, so Talisman is pretty useless when you start blue because again, you don't really need the mana. Alright, so look at this here. They're already pushing. So you see how the two range matchup interacts with the one melee, one range. Like yes, Nautilus probably could be doing a little bit better here, but... This is, this, see that right now there's a lot more minions. They have about nine minions or seven, eight minions to their six. So this is going to just start pushing organically. So again, you, this would have worked if you did that game plan. All right, here we go. Look at this, hard pushing. All right. All right, so let's take a look at top. Top's pretty ungankable. So I would be doing wolves, red, uh, Krugs, I would literally not care about top with Scarlet. You need to go bot here. This is such a crucial lane for you to get ahead. Siva, and you cannot let a Jana and Kaisa uh, scale. Jana is very, very weak early game. It's basically like a four versus five. Um, but she can, you know, get out of control. And actually, she's actually sort of pretty good into Olaf, to be honest. I mean, obviously, you, can, you can't CC with you with your ult and stuff like that, but she's very annoying. Alright, so you are doing still this. Warwick actually looks to gank mid. Alright, and he actually gets first blood. So, I'm already actually starting to think, alright, maybe mid. Like, both summoners haven't been burnt yet. Like, this is not ideal to gank mid. Alright, so you're pretty low health. And Warwick is 100% in topside river. You can't go for a gank here. Um, oh, what happened with your ward? Oh, you warded here early, didn't you? I don't recommend you warding at all early on Olaf. Like, you really need to keep your ward to try and track the enemy jungler so you can make plays in the early game because you're so strong. So, yeah, you need to either get more information based on, like, where they're going to start, but I like to have it, like, around this time just so that for this exact reason. Like, you could protect Cho'gath, just ward here, do your Krugs, base, and then go bot side. But you cannot gank top here because Warwick is here. You're very low health. And you actually go for Warwick and you're just going to die here. Alright, so that's... Um, just like knowing. like well, You saw Warwick move topside. Like, there's the only one thing he's going to do here, which is to do Rift Scuttler. Like, get into his mind. It's like, if you're a jungler and you're topside with Rift Scuttler up at 3 minutes, 15 seconds, what are you going to do? So, Warwick is obviously going to take this. And you can't contest your too low health. Uh, mid lane has priority. Top lane has priority. Just do your Krugs and you need to be bot. Like, this is really important. This is a gank opportunity. Like, constantly pushing. These guys have been pushing for so long. So many. For like, the last, literally the last two minutes. Alright, so now you're going Krugs out of base. And, like, yes, this is good for efficiency, and I talk about this a lot, but you never want to do this with your Raptor Camp gone. Like, this is not... Ideally, this is not the most efficient path. Like, unless you're going to do a top gank after this. But, um, you know, Chogath's in base right now. You know, you're probably going to have to wait for him. You need to get your camps bot side. Like, top bot Rift Scuttler's up. Like, you can't go top here. So, yeah, just try and never get into this position where you're going top side with only your Krugs up and Raptor Camp. Because look how efficient, inefficient this is. You've literally just walked all the way now to Wolves. All right, so... I would be potentially looking to protect my Echo here first before doing Wolves. So, there's another philosophy that you need to think. It's like... Um, get vision, protect my team, then go do my camp. So I would actually probably walk into here, look to hit this scrying orb, check Rift Scuttler, um, chuck one of your wards here deep so you can protect Echo who's pushing in the lane, and then you can go do your camps, and then maybe look to gank bot. But the gank bot's not gankable right now because the wave's big. 
Um, so the only thing area here here is you probably needed to you know protect the your echo a little bit better here. All right, you actually get seen on this, so you've just given away free information to the enemy team. Always make the enemy team work for their for their vision of you. So now Trundle can relax. Think about it now. Think again. Think of it from their perspective. They've just seen you bot. Your enemy team's probably pinging you. Trundle can literally be walking up here and do, and he's fine. So you've literally just relieved pressure from top and actually has hurt your top laner by you showing uh, on that Rift Scuttler there. Um, all right. So now the enemy team knows you're hundred percent bot side. So now you're you're really starving your options now. So you really can't do anything because there's no surprise. No, the enemy jungler knows where you are. The entire enemy team knows where you are. Maybe you could be looking to do dragon. Okay, actually you have bot priority now. All right, I would come down here, throw an axe, like auto attack. Probably use an E on this cannon creep because this is a cannon creep wave. They're gonna have to react to this. It's gonna take a while. You have mid priority. I'll literally say just do dragon, just straight up. Um, you have your team's full full health. Echo is level six. Um, let's just do dragon. The rift scout was gone, so I think this is an opportunity for you to do dragon. This is gonna do nothing for you. Actually, Choga TP's down here as well. All right, free dragon. I think you've wasted a little bit of time there, but if Chogath didn't get TP, you should have still gone for this dragon. All right, so you've just got in dragon. There's no bot side camps up, so you can't really gank bot. You don't have any wards to protect bot lane with. You need to base here, go Krugs, Raptors, your wolves and everything will be spawned by then. Um, your blue would not be nicely spawned by then. And then you can again look to gank bot or potentially just reset again and maybe go top. So yeah, look at this. You're waiting around here. This is very inefficient. Very, very inefficient. Okay, mid dies. I mean, you're not level 6 yet, so I wouldn't really be ganking that. Like, she's level 7, so... You're getting pretty far behind because you're just not being efficient in terms of jungle experience. So look at this now. Now your entire jungle path is stuffed, like... Because now these guys are just, like... You're losing this game every second that these guys can just free farm and be 0-0-0. Um, obviously, the Wayne's not in a good position, like at the moment, but it will start bouncing back, and you need to start predicting that and thinking, all right, well, it's pushing in here. Probably the next 90 seconds to two minutes, it's going to bounce back. Um, actually, I mean, I guess this is fine. It's a little bit inefficient, but just do your Gromp. Uh, your Wolves aren't up. Raptor, Krugs, Red, Base, and then go bot side. Ideally, it would have been pushed back by then. Uh, so now you're wasting time bot here. So this is, you get nothing here. Dragon's gone. Your Sivir's in base. You need to get your topside camps. There's literally nothing for you to do here. Like there's no objectives to get. You need to be farming. You need to get level six. It's coming eight minutes and you're still level five. This is not ideal. So you wasted a little bit of time there. I mean, you do eventually go there. Warwick ganks top. All right, your Echo dies again. All right, so you're definitely not the hottest start here for your team, but you have made a lot of pathing mistakes. Uh, so you are checking for Warwick, actually. Where is Warwick? Did you ward that? That's actually a pretty good ward. I like that. But I would hit the Rifts, the Sky, Sky and all plan as well, just so that just to deny it from the enemy team and just sort of scare off them a little bit. All right, so yeah, you see, they hit that. They know where you are now. Oh, Warwick's trying to come kill you, but your Trogath's here. What happened to your axe there? All right, yeah, you're no way going to lose this 1v1. That is where Olaf is strong. Well, that's where last end kicks in. All right, so... Remember, this wave is going to potentially... It's actually going to be neutral now. Actually, they're fighting. But there's nothing more for you to do top now. Do your Krugs. Be efficient. Base. Go bot side. Your camps are spawning soon. You need to try and shut down this Kite Kaiser and Jana. With your... Like, your Norlis is CC and he's got ult and everything. Okay, great. They got a kill there. This is awesome. Imagine if you were bot right here looking to dive this Kaiser. Actually, you can dive this Kaiser. I mean, she does have flash, probably not a big enough wave. All right. So let's see where you're going now. So you get warrior. Can you afford control wards? Yes, you can afford two control wards. Actually, no, you're waiting for boots. This is a tricky one. Hmm. Potentially, I think you sell your... You really need a control ward at this stage. You just haven't had one for the entire game right now. Should you have sold boots for two control wards? Boots is pretty important on her life. I think you just sort of should have sold your refillable potion for con one control ward at least.
Yeah. Um, all right. So dragon spawning soon, your topside camps are up. Bot is potentially gankable. Uh, you really need red sweeper trinket at this stage as well. I think you really need to switch out to that. You need to start being able to control the areas as a jungler. Like your Olaf, you have water walk in. I want you to make the enemy team afraid. And this is why denying vision as a jungler, this is your job. The Your support's job is to ward. Um, I mean, you can still be warding with control wards, but you need to... Um, like right now, there's, there's probably water. Like they can do whatever they want right here. Yeah, like this is watered. Actually, you walked over control ward there as well. All right, so actually, Warwick's here, but look at this. Bot's collapsing. Bot's pushed in. They have priority. You need to back off. You can't fight this at all. You've walked on a control ward. You really should have backed off there, and you're going to die. All right, this is, again, just sort of map awareness. I'm not... One thing that you sort of... And I don't really recommend this for when you're starting. Like, you've got a lot more to work on. But using the F keys to target your teammates, I, I rebind them to my mouse. So then you can see what's going on in lanes. That really helps you. And then you can press spacebar to go back to yourself. This It's a really good habit to get into. If you can do it as soon as possible, it's really good. But um, this will increase your map awareness and stuff like that won't happen. All right, so you're probably going to lose Dragon here. Top side camps are still up, but you do need to go to bot side. All right. Warwick actually takes Dragon there, but you kill Warwick. Not much you can do here. All right, so Dragon's gone. That's no longer objective. Nothing else is on the map here. You can't really do Rift Child. Like, Trundle's starting to get... Like, their top side of the map's very strong. You need to do Raptor Camp and Krugs. All right, so now you're going to be forced to be stuck topside. I guess bot's base in. It's just hard to walk anywhere or do anything because you just don't have any control. You don't have control wards. You don't have red sweeper trinket. Like, you could just be walking on wards 24-7. Look at that. You're seen on an con enemy control ward right there. Um, can you 2v2 this? I think you might be able to. You do have warrior. Oh, Echo's actually coming up here. All right, this is a good bait. Let's kill this Warwick. No, he gets away. Actually, Lux is very terrifying. Go help Trundle. Oh, he backs us off. All right, so fight's over. There's no way Trundle will get away here. Clear top side. Let's go bot for Rift Scarlet. Like, get some control wards here. Again, like your Civ is doing all right. Like you really need to kill these guys, bot. And once you have like your ult back up, it will be very easy with your Nautilus ult hook. You could really lock down the Jana and just kill her or Kaisa. She doesn't have flash either. Alright, so let's clear full topside jungle base. How much gold do you have? You just need control. I just want you to base here because I need you to have control wards. Alright, so... You're actually going mid to defend here. This is actually the right move. Echo's actually doing your job sort of and ganking bot. Looks like it's working. Alright, great. Your team's doing good work. Right, I'll push out another wave. So I'll be standing here um, and trying to push this out straight away just so Lux isn't reacting to bot. So then these guys can freely get bot tower. Alright, so she actually gets a shot, but she's sticking around. Oh, I think you can actually just kill this Lux. Oh, she missed it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Nice. Awesome work. All right. I think you should look to do Rift Child right now. Oh, you see, you still have two control wards. Wards. You need to start warding and clearing vision. Get into the river, clear these control wards. Like, these bushes, always be looking to clear them because these are pink control ward hotspots. And the enemy team just has so much information with the longer these are alive. Oh, so you're looking to gank Trunnel here. Oh, he gets away. Like, your top your top lane's right here. You need to be looking to get Rift Herald and clearing this, this river. Again, you don't have wards, but you really do need to base to get wards. All right, you could have afforded two controllers here. You only bought one. Two controllers are so important at this stage of the game. You need Red Sweeper Trinket at this stage. You're not even using your wards anyway. All right, so Dragon's starting to come up here. Trundle does have priority, but your team's here. Jana's there. Cast is top. All right, free Dragon. 
And your team actually gets mid here. Awesome. Alright, so we're now transitioning into the mid game. Alright, so these fights are pretty worthless right now. Um, you know, fights are fights gonna happen in these, you know, in these ranked games, but your priority right now is this next objective is Rift Herald and Top Tower. Which means you need to be controlling top side of the map. So I don't want you to be bot at all. Um, what you want to do is clear your wolves, your blue base reset, come onto top lane here, actually potentially push out mid. Um, I need you to refresh your control wards. I need you to get um, red sweeper trinket because you need control wards to protect this tower up here. I mean to get that tower. All right, so this is this is what you're talking about in terms of getting lost. So there's a little bit of confusion going on here. So you're like just like hovering mid, like you're wasting a lot of time. Chogath is fine to wave clear that. Chogath's pretty beefy. He has really good wave clear with his Q and his W and his E. All right, you are doing it, I guess. No, all right. So you just keep going. So Siva is where you need to be right now with Siva, pushing. She's actually got the right idea. This is the next objective. This is the next objective. You're wasting a lot of time just hanging around mid here. So always think it's like, what's the next objective? So where, where should I be? Where should my presence be? Where should my pressure be? And again, the answer is here. Place some control wards. Just your presence there. You don't have to do anything. You just need to be there so Siva can safely get this, this wave in case the enemy team goes and collapses on her. And look, she can't... She has to back off now because no one's there to help her. All this is... All this is there's no vision here. You can't help her. So she's forced to back off. So you're, she's trying to do the right thing, but her team's just not playing around you, her at all. So, I mean, actually, there is some pings there. You actually are pinging it. All right, this is good work, but you're doing this alone, and now Siv is mid. So, again, you need a base. You need Red Sweeper and Control Wards, because this is pretty risky to get without any vision anywhere. And Jana's literally controlling this area. So, you need to get control of an area first, and then look to get the objective. That's step one. All right, so your entire top, so you're sort of, all right, so this is, yeah, this is a lot of confusion right now. You went top, it didn't work, so you're like, oh, what well, doesn't work now, I've got to go bot side. But there's nothing for you to do bot side. All your entire top side jungle camps are up right now. There's nothing for you to gain bot here, nothing. There's so much for you to do, all your camps are up. Um, I don't think you've taken a jungle camp for like 60 seconds plus now, or like at least a minute. Like, again, this is your priority. This is your next objective. There's nothing you're going to gain, but all you're going to do is drag the enemy team here. You know, four versus five, Siv is top, and you're going to die. Like, you can't see. You don't have a siege comp. You're only, you think about it, the only range champion for you to get towers is Sivir. Everyone else here is melee. Like, you can't just siege towers. You need to, like, get kills, create picks, control areas. Like, this is, like, never going to work. I can guarantee you're not going to get a single hit on this tower. And there you go, Lux comes here. And, you know, you guys are fighting three versus... Is that three versus five? Yeah. Numbers disadvantage, never going to work for you. siva has got the right idea. But she can't even get this tower because Tron was going to TP. All right, so it's been about two and a half minutes. Still haven't cleared any jungle camps. Let's start clearing jungle camps. You need control wards. You need red sweeper trinket. Dragon is coming up, but I have a feeling this is going to be hard to get. They have 4k gold up right now, and Lux is pretty strong. So, I mean, the biggest thing why I say you can't get this is that, I mean, hit this at least. Hit the scrying plant so you can get some vision, but you need to get, like, you have no tools to get vision of this. Like, you, even if you dragon, let's let's take a look at their wards. Janna probably has all this warded. Oh, she doesn't. Okay. But, you know, you don't know that because you don't have red sweeper, you don't have control wards. Oh, I hate these back and forth. This is these are called this is what I call dice roll League of Legends fighting. You want to avoid this as much as possible. All you're hoping here is that you win this team fight by your teammates just being better. Like Chogath hit the Q there. This is dice roll. You congratulations, you won the dice roll. Or the coin toss. 50-50 right there. Chogath got a really good Q there, got a silence. But the premise of this fight isn't what you, how you're going to be fighting. You need to be smart, get control of an area first, clear your jungle camps, push waves, then you can look to do objectives. Alright, so you get an ace, and I assume that's free dragon. You do die, but 
Still no controls, no sweeper trinkets. So that's definitely your first. That's why games are difficult. When you don't have vision, you can't get control of areas. Like think about it. Think if I had, if you had the vision of everyone on the map. Like, like no one would ever die. Well, like you would probably still die. People would still fight. But how much easier would the game be? And that's obviously an extreme example. You can't always have vision of everyone. But think of vision. That's how important vision is. You know, it's like people can't just randomly like teleport around the map and kill people. Like League of Legends characters move pretty slowly. You know, you can see them coming from a mile away. All right, so yeah, Warwick takes Dragon there. I mean, you know, that's going to happen. They could steal that because, again, you have no control towards a Sweeper Trinket. They have vision of this. Let's have a look. They don't have vision of it. All right. Well, I mean, you know. Apparently, people just don't place wards at all. John had literally four wards. They should have vision of it. That's what I'm trying to say. And you have no way to deny it. All right. So you're sort of walking around the map right now. I, I think you've you haven't cleared topside for ages. I think you got your first jungle camp. I think you didn't get a jungle camp for around five plus minutes, six six plus minutes. Like, you're really, like, pretty far behind at this stage. 120 CS Olaf at 25 minutes. Not ideal. Alright, this is just numbers disadvantage as well. Your team's all in base. Nothing you can do here. I mean, I think, like, the rest of, like, they're starting to get pretty far ahead. And they have full control. You're just not farming. Like, you, I don't, I, just don't, I don't want to get too confused too much with the rest of this late game stuff. Like, it's the mid game and your priority. Like, this tower is still not gone. You know, like, this is, should have been gone like 10 minutes ago, 5 minutes ago. You're sort of just like hoping that you just win another team fight like that. Like, you're con consistently dodging your camps. Your team's just dying. Oh, maybe you can go for a steal here. They're going to do Baron. Right, I'd say this is your only real best bet, to be honest. Like, their bot lane is just out of control. Their bot side of the map. Mid to bot side of the map. It's very difficult for an Olaf into a Kaiser as well. So, the only way you can steal this, I mean, you have Flash. Like, this is where you need control wards. Like, imagine if you control wards right now. This is your opportunity and potentially you'll die, but you could, you know, that's potentially the only way you're going to get back into this game. I mean, or you could just give it up and they'll potentially make another mistake sometime soon, but, yeah, you can't walk into this. It's not worth flashing to kill that right there. Dragon's coming up. Now you're going to lose complete area control of that. It's 25 to 14 right here. I mean, you do have two dragons. But there isn't obviously that, not that potential for four dragons. Alright, Cho'Gath dies here. You die. Yeah, I'd say they're just too far ahead. And I was just, you're just two seven right now. It's just not, not gonna work. So let's just take a look. Maybe something they do, do throw or something like that. No. Team fight mid. All right, and they probably will just end the game off this. Yeah, you guys surrender. All right. So. First ranked game, like I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Like I want you to go back and watch this video like five plus times. There's so many little things in here that you're gonna do in all your ranked games that you can slowly work on each key area. It's like, oh yeah, Nathan talked about that bit. Like that's why that thing happened. Like you know, I gave away free information. Then he knew where I was. I this this game was so hard because I wasn't pushing out waves or. I just didn't have control. I didn't. I didn't have control wards. I didn't have red sweeper trinket. Like the enemy team. How did the enemy team always know where I was? You know, these sort of things. So, definitely keen to see your progress. Like, let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions. You can check out my full notes over on my blog, NathanMott.gg. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.